Neutrogena traveled the country in search of the most stressed out girls in America. We brought them to New York City and put them to the test to find out who was the one less stressed. And today we're talking about diet. Hi, my name is Lakeisha. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Montgomery, Alabama. Hi, my name is Liz. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Forest, Illinois. Hi, my name is Trisha. I'm 20 and I'm from Oswego, Illinois. I love this stuff. Feels so nice. You have a new stress mail. Hi girls, I'm Hayden Panettiere and welcome to Neutrogena's One Less Stress. We are going to teach you how to eat without stress. We've got a lot on our plate tomorrow, so maybe you should get some sleep and we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Welcome to Neutrogena's One Less Stress, a series devoted to helping you guys with your stress. Today we're going to be talking about diet, the importance of choosing healthy foods and the understanding of how what we put in our body affects our body. I brought two guests with me today. This is Sharon Richter, who is our nutrition specialist, and Chris Santos, who is the executive chef and owner of the New York Hot Spot, the Stanton Social. So why don't you girls tell me, what stresses you out about eating? I really don't have time. When I get that 30 minute break, I'm gonna hit the closest fast food joint that's around. I'm in college and my budget's so low. Like, go to Aldi, get 29 cent macaroni and cheese. Live off of that for a while. <laughs> the easiest thing to do is a McDonald's dollar menu. It's so cheap, I'm telling you. It's the best thing in the entire world. What we're gonna show you today, it'll be just as easy to prepare some good nutritious foods really quickly in your apartment or your dorm room that's right there sitting for you in the refrigerator. Well, as long as it's easy. I looked at the stuff, it looked pretty yummy. <laughs> so are you girls ready for your lesson? Cool, let's go. Let's go. Go to the kitchen. All right, let's get started. Show us how it's done. So what our three rules are. First one is portions. Second one is preparation and preparing things in a helpful manner. And the last one is balance, making sure you have all your nutrients. You know, I always tell people, your body's like a furnace. You want to start with fuel in it. But the thing you want to be careful of, portions. So we're gonna first talk about breakfast, give you some tips to get your day started. One real quick, easy, simple breakfast is cereal. Just pour it in the bowl, you're done. But the problem with cereal is the portions, how much you're eating. This is probably about four servings of cereal. So a quick little tip that makes a portion better, pour it in a coffee mug, and then you can really control the amount that you're having. Another good thing to do is oatmeal. The great thing about oatmeal is that you can flavor it with natural sweeteners instead of just the, the straight up sugar, like a honey. You pour it over your oatmeal, maybe with some slivered almonds, which are really great for you, and it's delicious. And that'll bring us to our next meal, which is lunch. And lunch, so much is about how you prepare your foods. It's important that you use very little oil. The two types of oil that I would recommend would be either grapeseed oil, um, because it has a very high smoking point. You can just use very little and nothing will stick to the pan. Or extra virgin olive oil has great health benefits. Well, the third tip is balance. Half your plate have vegetables, a quarter of it be protein, chicken, fish, lean cuts of red meat, and a quarter of it be your starch, rice, pasta, things like that. And when possible, trying to get a whole grain. So we picked brown rice. When I start eating healthy, physically feel better and emotionally. And you feel like a better person by ordering that salad instead of that hamburger. Now Hayden's gonna tell you guys about the challenge we have in store for you. Are you guys ready? Who can cook? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be competing against each other in a cook-off. We're giving you $40 in 20 minutes in a grocery store. 40 bucks in 20 minutes. Here we go. You have to prepare breakfast, lunch, and dinner for yourself. Shopping in 20 minutes? You'll be judging how well you incorporate Sharon and Chris's tips, the deliciousness, and of course your stress level. Items. I bought some healthy cereal. I bought some broccoli. You gotta get your vegetables in. I have vegetables and a little bit of meat, and I still have some carbohydrates in there for all my meals. I got chicken, broccoli, and apple, peanut butter. I'm going to make pasta with chicken. I just hope I have all the ingredients I need. I don't think I know how to cook, but we're gonna find out. 
Welcome back, girls. How'd it go? It was a lot of fun. Well, you guys are gonna get to cooking in just a minute, but I have a very special guest. She was the former host of Top Chef and Food Guru, Katie Lee Joel. Hello. Hi. 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 She's Hi. gonna help us judge you for the competition. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you come up with. You guys ready? 30 minutes. Start now. Banana. That's my breakfast. We have some heart to heart cereal. I measured out one and one for a cup. Breakfast, I'm going to have some yogurt and some fruit and a piece of cake. Okay, great. <laughs> this is such a smart choice because actually couscous, it's a whole grain, so it has like three grams of fiber. I think that's about a serving. What are you using the butter for? Anytime it's a non-stick pan, you actually don't even need any butter. Do you know how much you should put in? Stop when it feels right. It feels right? I don't know. <laughs> the pasta finish cooking in the sauce, it's going to get a lot more flavor into the noodles. Are they soft? Are they still rock hard? They're pretty hard. Okay, so we'll go another two minutes. Did you put any salt in here? It'll keep your vegetables greener, and it'll also add a little flavor. Ten minutes on the clock! Extra oh, olives! It's starting to get a little warm. You take a knife and stick it in, and if it's soft, then it's done. One minute left! We have dessert. Ooh, gonna be yummy. Very nice presentation. Okay. All right, girls, y'all did a great job. Now we're gonna tell you a few things that we thought you did right and a few things that you could improve on. Liz, your portion sizes were perfect. Your balance, however, not so much. Um, a lot of carbs. What I might have done is since you had the sandwich for lunch, maybe just use the ham in the pasta at night and omit the bread. For lunch, I actually have a deli sandwich. It's ham and cheese. And then for dinner, another ham and cheese sandwich with the same as toasted. Overall, again, a good job. But I think you definitely have to focus on balancing a little bit better. And Keisha, your food was great. I mean, I love your dinner. The plate was perfect. And the chicken, you really just took the breast of the chicken, which is the white meat, which is the less fat. But in terms of like preparation, you know, it seemed like you forgot a few things, like you didn't have the milk with the cereal. Breakfast, we have cereal. Um, we don't have any milk, so it's dry. But overall, your food tasted really good, and it was quick and easy. That's amazing. Trisha, I thought yours was great. I loved all of the color on the plates. You really got a lot of vegetables in there. This definitely doesn't look like it came from a microwave and a hot plate. My only critique would be that your portions were pretty big. That plate of pasta, all four of us tried it, and there's still a lot left. But the taste was great, and you were really creative, which I thought was wonderful. It was a really hard decision for us because you all did an amazing job. But what it really came down to is who incorporated the lessons they learned this morning. And the winner of our grand prize, which is a personal chef for a month, a prize value of up to $1,000. And the one less stressed is... Either you guys each get two hundred dollars worth of groceries, which is a lot of groceries, and they better be healthy ones too. <laughs> so the next time you find yourself running on empty with no idea what to eat, just remember these three key points: portion, preparation, and balance, and you'll find yourself feeling better than ever in no time. I'm Hayden Penetier for Nutrition is One Less Stress. Until next time, bye.